I'm going to show you how to add an observer within Canvas. Now, observer is a really nice role for you to share. It's good for another teacher who might need to see what you're doing in your class. For example, like a special education teacher uh, might need to see what's happening, see if uh, see what assignments are coming up. It can also be useful for a parent. A uh, parent can be tied to an individual student, and then they can see not only what's shared with the entire class, but they can see whether that individual student has been submitting their work. They can't do it for them, but they can see if it's being done. So first, go into your class. I'm here in my sandbox class. Make sure you're in the right one and click on people. Now if people is gray like some of these are, don't worry about it. You can still click on it. Gray just means that the students can't click on it right now or that you haven't used it yet. So click on your people. And then over here you're going to click plus, plus people. Now if, you're, if you ever need to add a student, always add them by their SIS ID. Don't ever add their email and don't add them to Canvas. If they're not already in there, Talk to me or Heidi Wheatley and we'll get, you, we'll get you sorted. But for a parent, you probably have an email address. Maybe they're sitting across from you in parent-teacher conference and you're going to add them. Now be sure to check the role and change it to an observer and triple check, quadruple check, make sure that they're in the right section. It won't do you any good if they're in a different class period. And for an observer, if it's a teacher, I wouldn't check this box, but if it's a parent, I'd make sure that they're stuck in their spot. Now you can tie them to an individual student and they can't see other people, but I just like to be safe, so click. Then click next, and yep, all right, I'm ready. It might say that they don't have a Canvas account and that it will email them. You, you want it to email them and that, that would be good. So click add users and now I'm in here as an observer and I'm observing nobody. So that will allow me to see what's going on in the class without uh, violating anybody's FERPA rights. But let's say that I want instead, I want this person, this is my son, so I, I want this person to be able to observe this person. So I go up here, I'm observing nobody, and I'm going to click on this gear. Now you might need to maximize this window. I know a lot of people like to leave it kind of minim minimized, but if you don't see an option, make it go full screen. So I'm going to click on this gear and link to a student. Start typing and it's going to pop up or you can hit browse. Click on the student name. You notice you can do more than one student. If you have say a coach that needs to see whether several students are turning in their assignments or a parent with two students in your class. And then click update. Now I'm observing Archer Crawford. So I could see whether he's submitting his assignments. I can see his grade but I can't submit assignments for him and this will allow parents better contact with how their students are doing in your class.